thank you again for, for sitting down. Congratulations. Some very big news coming in on this fall season. Uh, Tim, let's start with you. Where were you when you found out that uh, you were nominated for a couple of CCMAs? Yeah, I uh, I was just hanging out at home. Nothing glamorous, but uh, it it hit me as a as an absolute surprise. Uh, we don't we don't take anything for granted. All especially all of this new country music stuff is just the best kind of gravy. Uh, you know, an award show like the CCMAs is is really the industry saying, "Hey, you're one of us." And um, man, that that feels better than anything. It's awesome. It's funny to hear you say that you're surprised because um, especially people in Kissing Country, we have been loving the songs that you've been putting out. So it's no surprise on our end that yeah. you're up for some hardware. And it's it's really cool to see what you guys are doing. You're, you're really sticking to Roots Country, which is awesome. Um, is that kind of the direction with the band that you wanted to go in? Tim, I'll start with you putting the band yeah. together. Did you have a specific sound that you wanted to shoot for in the beginning talks of the whole thing? Man, that's a great question. It's funny that you should say that as as we're just on the verge of releasing this Christmas song. I guess it was released. It's the poppiest thing we've ever done. It is the <laughs> furthest thing from Roots Country <laughs> yeah. ever. But yes, for those that have not heard that song, uh, I uh, I am, yeah, w w we we grew up uh, in, in church music, gospel music, and, and I, I was signed, Colin and I were in a band called Starfield for a lot of years with EMI and Sparrow went to Nashville, we lived the dream, we traveled the world. And then about 10 years ago, we decided to kind of retire that band and get back to our roots and be uh, this Tim and the Glory Boys bluegrass gospel country thing. And um, it's evolved uh, into into what we see today, but th especially the country part, it was like, it was sort of like a, a chance for us to kind of press reset and talk about the kind of band we wanted to be. And it was that, it's just simple. Just what you see is what you hear uh, mm -hmm. on any given stage. Uh, a lot of uh, acoustic stuff um, and and certainly acoustic instruments and and it's yeah but the answer is yes it was intentional and and also we're, we're loving being in this in this particular uh, groove and and we have plans to do nothing but more of this. Colin, let's let's go to you. I know that like you said that you've been in a band together for a very long time, almost hitting mm -hmm. the reset button. Was it worrisome when you guys were in that talks mm. or? was did hmm. it just make sense at the time and saying like we could do this let's see if people enjoy it and if not we're still like doing it even though we are enjoying yeah. the music too that just came uh whether or not you were planning on putting more, more music yeah honestly at the beginning we when we put together our first tour with this new genre that we were kind of delving into we thought man like i wonder how this is going to be received by people are they going to like it are they going to think what the heck are these guys doing but it was received with like just enormous amount of excitement from people you know young kids to old folks and we realized this kind of music gives permission for any age to really enjoy it and dive in mm. and for us we love playing music that old people can get up and enjoy you know families with young kids so we're from that moment on it was like man let's sink into this and yeah let's put out pop music now and then for fun and try out different genres and do that but let's keep this core what it is and kind of really sink into that so it's it's been a fun ride and we're stoked to keep riding it. It's <laughs> a great answer, Colin. I love wow. it. Thanks. Yeah. Look at you yeah. guys. You guys just vibe together. You could tell that you've been together for a very long time, right? Yeah. What is I think it's I... <laughs> <laughs> what's the bond between you two? What keeps you guys together so 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 together? Oh, wow. It's, it's only when we're apart that we're good. That's the problem. <laughs> we just we fight. No, you know what it is? It's it's um Colin and I we made a commitment to each other uh 10 years ago it sounds like i'm talking about our wedding vows uh yeah. it's kind of you're kind of like a road wife i know uh, <laughs> it's true it is it is very similar to marriage actually that's a great analogy um <laughs> and uh and we do spend uh, a lot of time together once in a while we sleep in the same bed it's very clear yeah uh, that's, what, that's what happens <laughs> excuse me it's true. but um lots of hotel rooms um lots of adventures honestly it's uh it's about the fun for us we mm -hmm. um love doing what we do on stage we love all the uh all the trappings that come with touring we're we're a bunch of dads we don't get wild but we uh we get we get dad wild tell us a little bit about your mm -hmm. show and if somebody has never seen tim and the glory boys what can they expect out of that live performance uh man we we I, we want to extend that 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 party atmosphere that fun mixed with a little christmas cheer 
Uh, we're so grateful to, to Neil for headlining for us. <laughs> such a such a big favor. What an honor. Uh, yeah, what an honor. To, uh, no, we, we uh, I got the chance. I, I've never met to Neil, but uh, when the Osborne Br Brothers Osborne tour is coming through Abbotsford, we uh, uh, buddy and I got the chance to go and uh, meet her and, and the guys and uh, we're it, it just made me all the more excited. I, I, I love to Neil. I've loved her specifically um, just for her. She's just a one of a kind. She's just unique. She's a true artist, which, you know, there's a lot of uh, there's a lot of kind of people that are doing music, uh, myself included, sometimes that that dabble in inauthenticity. But it, it is uh, it is straight from the heart with her. She is who she is and she writes with depth and passion. And uh, and we try to do the same. So we're, we're kindred spirits. I, I can't wait to just experience her show every night. And and we we really do feel like as a band that has had the chance to headline tours and play in front of some big crowds, we just want to su support her and their team and, and make it as as good a, a first, it's her first time headlining, a first headlining tour uh, that any artist has ever had. So that's, it's just going to be amazing and, and we can't wait. Colin, when you guys are planning on putting the set list together, is it sort of, makeshift as the tour goes by or do you have kind of your set tunes here and there throwing in a couple of sprinkles throughout or is it more of a i want to play this at this specific time because it gets the crowd feeling this way and then that way and then it's just a whole other vibe as you guys are playing live yeah we've had a, a good opportunity the last month we've um, done a bunch of of our own shows down in the u.s and we've had a, a good chance to kind of hone our mm. acoustic bluegrass set that we're going to be bringing to the Tennille tour and getting the opportunity to try it on multiple different crowds and different ages and stuff like that. We, we really look for songs that connect and, you know, there's a bit of a flow to a set list. So we're always trying to tweak that. And for Tennille's crowd, honestly, it's, I, and you guys can, Tim, you can speak to this, but I think it's a bunch of kind of 20 to 30 year old women. And we're used to playing in front of probably older people than that and families with younger kids. So we're trying to yeah. trying to play all the songs that they would know and a lot, a lot of Taylor Swift covers. I don't know. <laughs> exactly. Is it yeah. Is it in bad taste to just cover to Neil Towns songs for our set? Is that I've seen it done yeah. before? I've seen an opener cover a headliner <laughs> no, show. And you haven't. it was really weird. Yeah. Oh. yeah. Gosh. Yeah. Let's talk about this Christmas tune, uh, covering Wham last Christmas one of the most elite christmas tunes of all time uh you said that that's more of your poppier side what makes you do something that's a little bit more out of left field then for you i uh, just more more fun more just trying it I've, I've done a few different genres of music and covered different artists over the years um but it's mostly been religious music that's another thing we've covered every every kind of religious christmas song there is I've never, uh, much like when, when we made the switch to country music, written a lot of love songs to Jesus, but never to a girl, right. including my wife. So she was pretty stoked on the genre switch, but uh, it's it's new to kind of sing like, um, I, I, for lack of a better term, like a secular Christmas tune, but we had so much fun with it. We recorded it uh, in Vancouver in Gastown at Brian Adams studio, the warehouse studios that he bought with uh, Summer of 69 money like 35 years ago. Wow, that's yeah. uh, it's this, it's like a city block. It's got the most incredible gear. It's kind of a hidden gem that that we've just developed a relationship with them and uh, been able to record a few times in there. This is the first song that Colin and I have ever uh, fully produced together, played all the yeah. instruments, uh, made all the decisions. So. If it's crap, that's why. <laughs> yeah, sorry. But if you like sorry. it, then you're welcome. So Colin, so next, sorry, so sorry. The Don't next sorry. Christmas song, obviously, then Colin would probably be Mariah Carey's "All I Want yeah. for Christmas Is You." I, we we started at the top, and we're gonna work our way down. Yeah, the top ten songs. Mariah Carey. Tim's been working on it already. He's trying to nail yeah. those lines. You know, he's got I mean, it. If I don't get a Boney M's "Mary's Boy Child" out of you guys in the next three years, I'm gonna be really upset. So just uh, <laughs> we'll just dive back into there. the religious. <laughs> yeah, uh, just for you. reggae. That's a genre we haven't quite got. Religious reggae. Oh uh, man. <laughs> thank you, guys. Wow. It, uh, it was such a pleasure to meet you. Thank you Likewise, so man. much. Again, I can't believe how punctual we all were. So yeah. tip of the hats. Uh, best of luck. Congratulations with the CCMAs. 
have a great show with Tennille here in Edmonton. And uh, we can't wait to do this in person, get you back in the yeah. studio.